Hello everybody. Today I'm coming to you with my 10 minute Tuesday and today um, I am using the bottled happiness. Um, just real quick, I'll say my name is Debbie Danford. I'm from craftiercreations.blogspot.com. And then of course on Facebook, you can find me at Craftier Creations with Debbie. Uh, I probably will eventually be doing these live out on Facebook. I haven't just picked the right day and time that I can squeeze it all in. But um, so for right now, I've been doing them as videos and then sharing them on Facebook and then posting it on my blog. And when it posts on my blog, it's always usually the day after I do the 10 minute Tuesday. So today I wanted to come to you. Here's the card we're going to make. And I just used the flowers, the two different flowers from the Bottled Happiness. Now this is a new stamp set. It's actually a new bundle um, that's coming out in the new catalog. That'll be out next week. We will be able to shop from it. And it also comes with this punch. Now I received this when we had an event recently here in April called On Tour and everybody got um, a free stamp set. And there was four different random stamp sets that went out to everybody and this was the one I got and then I had to order the punch to go with it in pre-order now I haven't this is the first time I actually sat down and played with it and I had to figure out how to line the two up but once I got it lined up it stamps perfectly and like you can see here I I got it lined up and I'm using two new in colors starry sky and the parakeet party had to double check you know they're all new colors so I don't have them all memorized. And then I just added a little bit of iridescent, the iridescent rhinestones that I'm 99.9% .9 sure they're returning. I kind of went through and pulled out old stuff, but sometimes you miss something. Now, I'm going to get on with this because my problem with my 10 minute Tuesday is I talk too much. So what we're using today to line these up is the Stamparatus. And just real quick, I'm going to show you. Here was my test piece I did. So I stamped, this one was actually Night and Navy, and then I decided to bring in the Starry Sky. But I just lined it up on my grid paper here, and you can decide where you want to start it at. Normally, I come in an inch and down an inch, and I think I needed to go over just a little bit to center this. So it, it'll be fine. You'll see. But I stamped the main flower here this one here stamped that and then I took this one here which is like the the insides of the flower and the leaves and I laid it down on top and lined it up and then picked it up with the stamparatus I'm not flipping these all the way over because I just made my card and decided you know what I'm just gonna get my video done so we we blah, 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 can't talk now um you need a piece. Now, I did it on shimmer white because I love to stamp on shimmer white. I think it is the best to stamp on. If you want to stamp on basic white, certainly you could. Or if you want to stamp on a, on a cardstock color, you can do that too. But your main stamping piece, which for me was shimmer white, <coughs> excuse me, three and a quarter by four and a quarter. The parakeet party is three and a half by four and a half. And then I layered that on top of a piece of the starry sky at three and five eighths by four and five eighths. And then our card base is a thick piece of basic white, of course, at five and a half by eight and a half. So what I'm going to do is just bring in this piece here. And like I said, normally I, this is where I like to start. I know a lot of people will, will put it up against here and you certainly can, you can line it up to do it that way. Just my preference. But I know I, I ended up sliding it over just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put my magnet down here. And there's actually two magnets that come with it. The other one's underneath. I really didn't think I needed it. And the reason I ended up moving it just a little bit is I felt like it wasn't quite centered where it was at. So I ended up moving it a little bit, which I always hate to do that because when you know you're going from that normal mark or wherever you want to mark it, because it's always much easier to line it up one inch, one inch. But I'm going to come over just a little bit, like I said. But I'm going to keep that down at the one inch. And let's just put our magnet there. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to come over just a little bit more. I mean, it's not really that big. A, there we go. I'm going to go with that. Now I stamped the main flower first. 
I guess you want to say, I don't, I don't know that there's a right or wrong on which one you want to stamp first. It was easier for me to line up this one, the insides of the flowers. So, um, and some people will take a Sharpie and like mark like a, on the back side here, not of this, but on your stamp, put a mark that would be like the top and then do the same thing as it's lined up for that one. So you do have that option if you want to line it up. And we just come down and stamp. Now, because these are photopolymer, I do have my rubber mat underneath. If you are using red rubber, you can pull that rubber mat out because you won't need it because you'd have the um, thickness from the stamp. And then you either need to put like a clear block or a stamp pad or the ink pad um, underneath. And let's see, I didn't get... Uh, and here's the nice thing about the Stamparatus. Yes, I have ink all over right here, but it's on this. It's not going to stamp down there. And because I missed a couple, I'm going to go back and stamp that again. Just right here, and I'm going to make sure I'm rubbing really good here. And I think part of it is, is my magnet is... I'm going to slide my magnet just a little bit. I think my magnet, yeah because now it's stamped perfectly. I think my magnet was in the way just a little bit. Let's flip this over like that. So there's our first color down. Now I'm going to take my Parakeet Party, and I know you can't see the whole thing here. And then I'm going to come down, and it should all still be lined up really good. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed, because like I said, I did adjust this a little bit, and I didn't adjust the stamps. Kept it with what I had. And there we go. That is really pretty much the card. Now I had thought about stamping like hello or just a tiny phrase down here in the corner, but I decided not to. I just decided, since I didn't get any ink on that, I'm just going to close this up. Pop this one off and just lay it down like this, and then I will clean that all when I'm done here. So now we're just going to assemble. I brought in the new Parakeet Party Glimmer ribbon, and this ribbon is really pretty. Now, when you look at it next to the paper, it it is darker. So you, ha you do have to keep that in mind. But I think as an accent, when you're layering some of these like this, like we're doing here, I think it works perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in my, I like to use the Stamp and Seal Plus. I do have both of them here because you just never know when one's going to be empty. But I do know I filled this one up over the weekend when I was filming. And I am just going to add my adhesive to the back here and I'm one I flip flop back and forth between um, like stamp and seal plus or stamp and seal whichever one you like the best and mono glue I, I tend to use both and I just trim that off just like that I like to go back and add just a little bit of adhesive on top of where you put that um, ribbon and I always tell my customers if you're layering on a piece like this and you know you're gonna like punch or die cut something out of it punch or die cut something out of that shape even if you don't know what you're gonna use punch or die cut out of that shape it um, helps you not waste paper because I thought about maybe um, Stamping a phrase and then putting a tiny little die cut or something, you know, circles or something, because we have some new awesome ones. But I kept it simple. Back to my 10-minute Tuesday, right? We'll see if I make it this time. I've been getting closer. Each week it gets a little bit better. But I also know I talk a lot. <laughs> um, let's see. So I have, if you live in the Washington, northern Washington state area, like I'm, I live in Arlington, I'm going to be doing a live event starting in, uh, on June 4th, but I am also giving the option of it being a to-go event. So that will be posting here this week. I'll put the link down there, down below in my video of where you can find all that info. 
Would love to have you come join me. Be an awesome time. We're going to use one of the new bundles out of the catalog, and it's called um, the Nature's Prints Bundles. It's going you're gonna get um, DSP and embossing folder and all kinds of stuff and we're going to play bingo we're going to play three rounds of bingo have giveaways prizes and all kinds of stuff so yes if you live local certainly would love to have you come and if you can't make it or don't live local i am going to offer a to-go version you just won't get the bingo and prizes won't be included but you can still do the class there's our card. Now all we're going to do is add a little bit of bling here to it. Now we do have in color bling, but I decided to kind of do something a little more, um, not as subtle, just in the background. That's why I brought in the iridescent ones and we'll put one here and I'm going to put one over here and then go ahead and put one like up over here, just like that. There you go. There's our 10 minute Tuesday card. If you don't follow me on Facebook, I'd love it if you did start following me every month. I do start on the 1st to the 25th. I do a sketch challenge and I do a random drawing at the end for every entry that you can do one entry per day. And um, that's something I do. I have a monthly club. I have lots of options out there. So if you don't follow me, definitely follow my YouTube channel here. Follow my Facebook page. And I would love to see you. So there you go. There's my 10 minute Tuesday. Again, I'm Debbie with Craftier Creations um, with Debbie out on Facebook or craftiercreations.blogspot.com. Hope to see you again next Tuesday. Bye.